Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a repair on my truck and it's because we live in Northeast Ohio in the Rust Belt like a lot of the other northern states that use salt on their roads. Things have a tendency to rust on the trucks and rust on their cars and break. So I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel tank straps on the front tank of a 95 F-150. So stay tuned. Now if you don't know, the fuel tank on the front is located on the driver's side on these trucks and we'll get underneath there and take a look at it so the reason that I noticed that I needed my fuel tank strap to be replaced is because I was replacing my fuel filter I noticed that right there and that is the tab just hanging and this is just rubber that was in between the strap and the tank um, and there's the strap it's busted off Basically, uh, they go up into a, a notch here, and once they're in this notch, they uh, get turned sideways to hold themselves in place. There you can see. And then the other end, if you follow the strap around, goes up and actually has a bolt that goes through it. And in this case, this tank is almost completely empty. And the reason is, I have a problem, I believe, with my front fuel pump, but I want to make sure that with this tank uh, having settled a little bit that I don't have a fuel line pinch or something crazy like that that's causing my problems so uh, the tanks are only about four years old my front tank and my back tank they're both 19 gallon tanks and they're both Spectra brand tanks I'm gonna put the link down below for those uh, they're very nice and I haven't had any problems with them these tanks uh, are showing no signs of rust whatsoever and I didn't paint them or coat them or do anything to them. I just stuck them on there just like I got it. So uh, these are a good purchase and they're, they're a really good price. Now I'm just going to show you the uh, strap being replaced on the front. However, it's the same procedure to do the one in the back also. Here's the straps. And I, uh, again, going to put the link down below for these. This is an ST03. This covers quite a few of the F-150s, um, the old body style. And also F250, F350. And you can see there's two straps in there. They're reinforced uh, where they have to make a little bit of a bend and the bolts go through. But let me open this and show you what it looks like. You can see that there's two different straps. So the long one goes in the back. The short one goes to the front. So let's get underneath the truck and see what it's going to take to change these. All right, so we're underneath the truck and we're getting ready to take off the nut that holds the strap. Now I'll let you know this is a F-150, it's a long bed and it's not lifted or anything, it has normal size tires on it, it is a two-wheel drive and I'm in the driveway without the truck lifted. I do have the wheels chalked but it's not lifted in any manner so you can do this just climbing underneath your truck and have plenty of room just so you know that you don't have to put it up on jack stands or anything like that. And you may be able to do that to make it a little bit easier, but I've got plenty of room to work underneath here. Now the nut itself can be taken off with a uh, 15 millimeter deep well. It is metric. At least it is on mine, and I haven't changed anything on it. This is the way it's been from day one. Now I do have an extension, and I have an impact to make it easy on myself. But you can use just a ratchet. It's not going to be anything that's overly tight or anything like that you may have to put some penetrant on the threads to make sure that the nut slides off but other than that a ratchet will be okay now as far as the top it's a 13 millimeter and I just got a boxed in wrench that I'm going to slip over top of that all right so we got the wrench up top here see right there and we're going to zip this off Here's the old strap. We got that taken off. You can see where it's broken off. And when I replaced the tanks before, they had a, uh, a gum that's on it, some sort of a uh, insulator of some sort. And I went ahead and installed uh, some old inner tube. Uh, it's always nice to keep around, just have some old inner tube laying around. And all that does is keep it from vibrating and rubbing a hole through metal to metal contact. Now obvious you can see, uh, of course your strap is straight 
and uh, the old one is bent. But I'll kind of get the shape that it needs to sort of get a U shape going on with it. And then at that point, uh, once it's on and this side is in, which I'll show how that gets inserted into the frame, um, I'll, I'll use the uh, truck, the frame, to bend the strap up around and go up over the bolt. Okay, so here we are back underneath the truck, and here's the front of the tank. You can see it's just kind of bouncing there. This is the slot you want to look for on this cross member. I want to show you this notch and what it looks like up close. If you see in here, it's a rectangle with a notch cut out of the corner, and that's how we want to get that strap started. Actually, we want to get it uh, in here with the uh, small side, and then once it's in, it'll slide and, and allow it to go all the way up in there, but that's what we're shooting for. You can see that it's made crooked. This side is smaller from here to here than this side is. This side's bigger. So what we'll do is we'll slide it in that way, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so hopefully you got the shot there. This is what we're gonna do. We're going to go into that slot, that corner. You can see everything goes up in, and then that's it, it twists in place. And now that it's in place, it's just a matter of getting this strap bent and up where it needs to be. All right, so we got a little bit different view here of what's going on. And basically the strap's gonna be coming up in this direction. Okay, I basically has, have it where it needs to be at, as far as its position. Now I'm going to get my impact. I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to run this on. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do before I tighten it all the way, is I'm going to uh, make sure that this strap is positioned correctly. And it looks about exactly where it was before. So I'm going to take and... Uh, move it around a little bit and again just to make sure I'm not pinching anything binding up anything and everything looks good so let's go ahead and tighten this up pretty good okay so there you have it the straps on now I didn't do the other strap because I'm going to be changing my fuel pump most likely and whenever I do that I have to drop both those straps and I'll replace the back one and the process is the same no reason for this video to go on any longer for that now I'm going to put links down below click the links it's going to take you to these straps and also not only that I'm going to include the links for the tanks it's a 19 gallon front tank 19 gallon rear tank also both from Spectra brand, the same people that make these straps. And I'll have to say the tanks are about four years old. Uh, the one's about five years old and I've had no problems with them and they don't show any signs of rust whatsoever, which you can see by my face how rusty our vehicles get. And uh, it doesn't take very long for everything to start uh, flaking off. And unfortunately, <laughs> in our eyes and our face whenever we're working. So I appreciate you watching the video. If you want to, click uh, like or uh, subscribe, and uh, maybe I'll get some more on like this. I've got some other repair videos. This is on a 95 F-150 XLT long bed super cab, but it's going to really pertain to a lot of those older body styles, or what they refer to as OBS Fords. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.